Yo, my people, them CFC with this blue back with another video. And in this Chelsea news update, we'll be talking about our latest signings in Robert Sanchez and Axel de Sassi. But before we get into the video, I'd like to thank you guys for all your support on the channel. Help me get 20 likes on this video and also help me get 500 subscribers before the start of the Premier League season, which is this coming Friday. Come on, help me get that up. Hit that notification bell, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. But let's get into the video now. And let's start with Axel de Sassi. Chelsea have officially signed Axel de Sassi from Monaco for 45 million euros, plus 5 million in add ons. He has signed a deal until 2029. So another very long contract, six years, and wait. Hopefully, he can do very well. Welcome to Chelsea Football Club, Axel. And um, this is what he had to say with his first words for the club. I am so happy to be here at this big club. I'm really proud to be able to be part of this great family and I hope to achieve very big things here, to win titles. I'll do everything I can to achieve these objectives. I am very ambitious. I'm a defender who likes to look for the ball and win it back. I like to have the ball at my feet and play passes. I like interceptions and I like to be aggressive with the position to use my physicality. I'm six foot three and can be very physical. When I was younger, I started as an attacker. When I got bigger, I moved back as professional where I played at left back, right or left center back or in a three. And with the national team at the World Cup, at right back. I like, I like full back to be too because it allows me to play more with the ball. I like to offensively I like to be offensively minded and can score goals. It's a club that has been Chelsea is a club that has been very popular with the French. So many legends, Frank Lebeau, Marcel Desailly, Nicolas Anelka, N'Golo Kante, Olivier Giroud, and the colour is blue just like the national team, so it's good. I enjoyed, he enjoyed watching Hazard, Drogba, Lampard. He liked David Luiz a lot. He was crazy. He was fun to watch on the pitch and he could shoot from, from so far out. I like to do that sometimes too. Also, Seth Fabregas. I played with him for two years in Monaco and he was amazing. Those players stand out and rightly so, legends at the club and have gone on to win major, major trophies with us. So, to know that Mar to know that Exo Desassi is a player that will like to shoot on sight, he can play left back, right back, in the back, in, in the center back. Like this guy can do so much. And at six foot three, Frenchman, to be so, to, to, to be so menacing, I cannot wait to see him in the Premier League because he will be frightening enough, man. And hopefully he can be someone who we can depend on because we can't play Trevor Chalabar every single game because I don't necessarily trust him to be as good. And fair enough, I haven't seen the Sassy play, but I'm going to take my chance with the Sassy more than Chalabar due to the fact that Chalabar has been here for a couple of seasons and he's never really made the defensive position his own. True say Thiago Silva has been here, but... Thiago Silva will still be here this season, but he won't be able to play that much. And I will, probably will trust De Sassi more due to his experience playing in the league and playing against some of the best players in the world, like PSG, because he's played against Messi, Mbappe, Neymar, and so many other talents. So I will take my chance with Axel, because French players nowadays, there's very few of them that are not very, very good. So looking forward to seeing it. And also, this adds more to our French contingent because not only do we have Axel here, we have Nkunku, Leslie um, Ugochu, Chukua, Gost, Mola Gusto, Wesley Fofana, and Badia Shaw. Three of these players, French, and potentially Elise, who could potentially be coming to Chelsea in the future as well. So these are all good signs. And the fact that he can shoot on site, similar to a player like Rudiger would do, I could see in the clips, he's not afraid to shoot. But it's inside the box, outside the box. Like he said in, in his words, he likes to shoot and will shoot from far at times. So look forward to seeing that. Look forward to seeing him have such a great impact at Chelsea. And again, welcome to Chelsea Football Club, my bro. 
your fourth C player at Stamford Bridge. But now, we move on to Robert Sanchez. And Robert Sanchez, man, this is um, a good deal. Low risk, high reward kind of deal. 25 million we paid for Sanchez. And right now, he's looking to be a backup to Kepo or competition for Kepo. I hope that he can eventually take over Kepo. If Kepo can somehow prove man wrong and be someone that can do very well and help us get top four, something he has done in the past, I can't say he can't help us get top four, but ah, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes because they are both Spanish keepers. Sanchez is a lot more bigger, 6 foot 6 compared to compared to um, Kepo's one. Both good with the ball at their feet, but I feel like the Sanchez will edge Kepo more so, um, for the amount of shots that he can stop. And plus, I don't see Sanchez getting cheap every season for about 25 or 30 yards the way Kepo does on multiple times. And the thing for me about Kepo is the fact that decision making at times is the best. And I'm not going to say that Sanchez is a much better decision maker. Gabby Keeper has had blocks some keepers more than others but Kepa too many times last season even though his last season was the best too many times I could put him at fault like even in Man City games how can you not stretch out your arm and that eventually allows Riyad Mahrez to get the ball if you stuck out your arm you could prevent all of that and we could draw that game I just get us, help us get more points in the Premier League but I've been seeing Kepa since 2019 play and boy, how man, it's gonna be that like, I don't I don't fancy him to be the number one. I'd have always preferred Mendy, but now we have Robert Sanchez. I hope that he can become the number one and be better because he's only what twenty five years old, so much more time for him to develop and become a better keeper. It's gonna be very, very interesting and hopefully he can become very good. So he has signed a deal until twenty thirty. And boy, am I just hoping and praying that he can be transformed into one of the best goalkeepers in the world because right now he's nowhere near that. But with Pochettino and the goalkeeping coaches he was working with at Brighton here at Chelsea, we can have very big hopes that he can become that good. So we have to wait and see. Time is of the virtue and we've got enough time and this season is going to be very very exciting this is a new era for Chelsea and we need to start building towards being a team that can challenge for the Premier League title so hopefully we can get the key players that can help to achieve that in the future but on that note that's gonna be it for me regarding this video please like share and subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram Twitter TikTok Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content are you happy that Chelsea have signed Axel de Sassi let me know down below are you happy that Chelsea have signed Robert Sanchez let me know down below. I appreciate your thoughts and opinions. And I look forward to chatting to you guys in the comment section below. But on that note, peace out in a bit. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.